This video is powered by YouTube memberships and Patreon. See the link in the description and learn how you can support videos like this. Things are unpredictable in Vice City. The weather is no different. The bridge connecting the city's islands were closed due to a hurricane warning. It was after Tommy Vassetti got an in with Ricardo Diaz that the bridges were fully open again. Now, Tommy was on his way across South Bridge from Ocean Beach due to an invitation. An invitation from Umberto Rubino. Hey Leo, I got some work for you. This ain't Leo. He hoped to reach Leo Teal when he called. Idiot! Leo's not around anymore and he left his phone behind. Lucky for Tommy, because he is making some good contacts through it. You kill Leo? You must have big hornet. Wanna work for me? Stop by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. I will talk mano y mano. Tommy has things to do, of course. Sonny's money and drugs aren't gonna find themselves. But he needs money himself. And it can't hurt to meet as many criminal minds as possible in Vice City. I'm the Patient Wolf, and I'm a video game storyteller. This is part of a series of videos on the many characters that Tommy meets during his rise to the top of Vice City. Members and patrons get to watch them all right now. Hit join or see the link in the description, where you'll also find links to videos already released. Subscribe and stay notified for the release of the rest of this series. And if you enjoy the video, remember to hit like. I'm The Patient Wolf, and this is the story of Umberto Rubina. Little Havana, a vibrant neighborhood. Moments from the airport. Over the bridge from Ocean Drive and Starfish Island, overlooking the same fine sea views. It doesn't have the opulent real estate that Starfish has, however, but it does have bustling industry, with businesses such as Fudge Packing Corp, Cherry Popper's Ice Cream Factory, textile vendors like Little Havana Streetwear, and food and beverage concerns like Cafe Rubina Cubana. This cafe, arguably the hub of this passionate community, owned and operated by Alberto Rubina, aided by his son, Umberto. For two years, this neighborhood has been claimed exclusively by the Cubans as their own. Their gang, called the Cabrones, and their boss is Umberto Rubina. This cafe, their headquarters. You, you the boy? You the boy, I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. You think you play stupid with me? You dress like a woman, you got on panties like a woman too, huh? Umberto likes to appraise his new recruits, intimidate and test their mettle. What do you got against women? I like all women, I love my mother, chico. All right, all right, I'll take your word for it, relax. Looks like Tommy passed the test. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah, like a woman. <laughs> I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones and not some little very chiquita ones. Tommy's character was checked now to check his driving skills. He is to meet one of Umberto's men, Rico. From the top down in Umberto's enterprise, it's crucial that everyone is and constantly proves that they are the man. And they have. Cajones. You the man with the big cojones? A checkpoint race will decide this for the Cubans. They start at Leaf Links, and Tommy navigates the canals and waterways of Vice Point at speed. Call yourself a man, man? Taking jumps and hitting checkpoints. Amigo, you the man, man? You the man, man? I like you, man. Anytime, man, because you got cojones, and all my friends, they got big cojones. You got big cojones, amigo. Tommy Vassetti is the man. The man with the cojones that Umberto needs right now. Because the cabrones and their neighborhood is under threat. Two years ago, Umberto's gang took Little Havana from the Cholas once and for all, and have held it ever since. But their rivalry with the Haitians is growing and their gang is looking to take ground. Little Haiti borders Little Havana, and their feud is a tempest that has been long brewing and has only recently started to boil over. But who turned up the heat? 
Umberto would never find out, and Tommy Vassetti won't be the one to tell him. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Not long ago, while working for his contact, Avery Carrington, Tommy stoked the fires of this rivalry to Avery's benefit. Now, recently a gang lord died. You disguised yourself in head on down and crashed the funeral. Dressed as a Cuban gang member, Tommy attacks the funeral procession, killing the Haitian mourners, leaving them no choice but to retaliate. And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. It was while Tommy was still in his Cuban gang disguise that Umberto first called. Tommy doesn't mind, and here he has inadvertently made some for himself. Tommy is in with the Cubans, and they are going to need him because the Haitians are on the attack. Papi, who grabbed Lorema? Roberto, my son, what happened? They messed with me for the last time. Try for me again. Take my boys over there. But they messed with me. They messed with the biggest boy in town. Tommy is to drive the Cabrones We're gonna fight like men. to Little Haiti, a short drive north, less affluent, run down. The Haitians operate a drug manufacturing plant here, all orchestrated by their gang leader, the mysterious Auntie Poulet. Tommy and the Cubans are here to hit the factory. Start! But the Haitians are ready for them. The Cubans can break through the first wave, but... While reinforcements arrive, Tommy takes action. Take out that cowardly sniper! With this threat neutralized, they can push forward. Take a van of merchandise. A sizable dent has been made in the Haitian's drug ring. They return south to the cafe with the van to regroup. Tommy gets a payday, but this has in no way ended the war. Tommy would leave Umberto to formulate their next move. Days later, when Tommy arrives at the cafe to hear the next stage of the plan, Tommy is confused at Umberto's opening statement. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a whip, baby boy. Umberto doesn't qualify the statement because he doesn't have the proof, and Tommy remains in the dark. Umberto has heard a rumor that Tommy is working for the Haitians at the same time as working for him, but without certainty, He's let it go for now. Tommy would refute this if asked directly, but he'd be wrong. He was working for the Haitians. But Auntie Poulet has a way with voodoo and chemicals, and due to this, he has no memory of it whatsoever. The story of this lost chapter in Tommy's life coming soon. Members can watch right now. Link in the description. Umberto is clearly shaken by this war. The Haitians are out of control. They're laughing at me, Tommy, at me. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Umberto. They do what you let them do. What? Tommy, you are real man. They have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it and we finish them. You take it and I look after you like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Another well-paid, dangerous job for Tommy, but this doesn't sound like a move that will end this war. It's just another battle, a smash and grab. Tommy has had experience with ambush drug deals before. Tommy meets Rico, another boat ride. Now you be a good shot through there. They pull up alongside the shipment and open fire. Stepping ashore, Tommy takes down far more Haitians than he bargained for. Under fire, he takes the cash and the drugs and with the boat destroyed, Tommy takes a nearby land stalker and makes his escape. Not easy, Umberto's reward, hard earned. Umberto is delighted at the progress they are making against the Haitians. He's relaxed and even finds time for his other passions. Hey lady, I'm going to make love like a man. You know that chica? Something like this. Ah, 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 ah. He's so no matter the way Umberto sees it, one final push and their war is won. Umberto Romina, he likes the lady, so not some funny. goat in a skirt. He's pleased to see Tommy. Tommy, I love you, I love you. Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass. <laughs> he has a plan to finish the Haitians once and for all. You go and get us a little car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe, and take them out to such and such, their processing plant. 
Whoa, man! You drive like a crazy bitch! Tommy, use your solvent as an explosive! Boom! Bye-bye! As Tommy knew this was their final push, he hoped to have his new comrade join him, for the Cuban boss to be on the front lines to see this war won. What about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? Tommy and the Cubans meet with their stolen voodoos, cars favoured by the Haitians. Hello, my compadres. These cars, their ticket, inside the factory without gunfire. Once the Cuban muscle is inside, they can make their move. I'm going to plant the bomb, cover me. At Umberto Rubina's request, Tommy plants the charges in all corners of the factory, taking out the retaliating Haitians as he goes. With the countdown set, but the way out blocked, Tommy seeks distance just in time to watch the show. The Haitians were beaten, but not eradicated. They would not mess with the Cubans for a while, but that did not extend to Tommy. He'd never be safe in little Haiti or its surrounding area again. For Tommy, it's worth it. His biggest payday for a while. Money sorely needed for the months ahead. For now, Umberto can rest easy. His gang, his neighborhood, and his father's cafe is safe for the time being. Tommy and Umberto wouldn't work together again, but he's welcome in Little Havana any time. I wanted to tell you, me and Papi, to us, you Cuban, you got big cojones. Well, thank you, Umberto. Nobody said that to me since I left jail. See you around. Tommy has many more friends in Vice City and many more stories. To watch them all right now, hit join and become a member or patron. Links down in the description. All supporters get to watch my videos weeks in advance and contribute to the hundreds of hours these videos take. Thank you so much to the people who do their names on the screen right now. Watch this video next. See many more videos to click down in the description, like my story of all the main missions in Vice City. I'm the Patient Wolf, and this has been the story of Umberto Rubino. <laughs>